Easy living. A Dometic air conditioner. Don't try it, babe. Meet you at the other side. Got it? So the weirdest thing package where this package was delivered yesterday I took a photo of it to text to Justin to show him how excited we were because I know he's been really pumped to get this and a FedEx guy came to deliver the second half of this package and I guess he took it so it like went missing so I'd already opened it and he took our package away without us refunding it or wanting to return it which was super weird so I don't know what happened but I guess we came back today came home and the package was here again so I think FedEx you need to check up on your drivers and make sure they're doing what they're supposed to be doing just saying and here is the second half Yes. That never arrived yesterday, that finally arrived today. So now we have our entire AC system. Yeah. <laughs> weird. It was so weird. fits in right here on the edge of this hole that we cut. So we cut this foam right here to the height um, that we wanted it to come down from the ceiling and attach these bolts um, up through the holes holding this panel in from underneath. So, guess what? What? You want to say it? You got this. You say it. Thanks. I need to lick it up. <laughs> so you ha have not in my teeth. <laughs> so Justin finished installing all the AC. <laughs> 
<laughs> I still have chocolate on my face. <laughs> All right, so it's been like 95 degree days here. Yes, yeah, super it's hot. It's been hot as hell. And so what jumped to the priority list was getting an AC unit. <clears throat> so we just decided to get this Dometic Brisk 2 Polar something other title, title, title AC unit. And so as soon as it came in, some, this is another installation story. Installation day. Yeah, uh, well, I was thinking about the fact it disappeared. Oh yeah, we already talked about that. Oh good, okay, all right, so you already know that story. Yeah. Anyway, the first thing we did was cut a hole in this roof real fast and put this thing in. And so, obviously, this thing draws way too much energy. We can't put it on our solar system, so what we've done is we've hot-wired it. Or I meant, not hot-wired, sorry. It's like hot-wiring your car. <laughs> We've hardwired, <clears throat> hardwired it so that there is a plug connected to it and that plug we can plug right into the receptacle if we're at a <clears throat> RV park or something like that, somewhere where we can get shore power. Um, and so anyway, we've installed it, we've wired it, it was a fairly simple process. The only thing that we had to watch out for is making sure that there was enough room between our solar panels, between our fantastic fan, and to make sure that we didn't cut and place it so that one of these struts was in the way. So we just barely squeezed it by right behind this strut and it fits well. I still gotta adjust the where, like where exactly it sits right now. We're not exactly. It's not officially installed, but it's running. Well, it's officially installed, but we have some adjustments to make. Yeah, Right. I guess. Maybe like take it a little bit higher up um, just because like right now it's. But you're also wearing your shoes. Yeah, with my shoes. We're With my these. shoes, it's pretty tight and it's in the middle of the walkway, so we're going to try to see if we can bring it up a little bit more. But, this is the christening where we turn it on and we hopefully cool it down in here. Drum roll. Dun, dun, dun. You got this. 